I don't know why I'm like <laughs> this showing you these, but I did worth it. I did wore it. I did wore it this week. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I definitely want to go over what I wore for Christmas. So kind of like my Christmassy makeup favorites, and then I have some other things that were non-Christmassy favorites. And today I kind of have like a mixture of it all. So I've kind of got like some of the things I wore for Christmas on, but in a non-Christmassy way. And yeah, we got some good things to talk about. So let's get to it. So for Christmas on my eyes, I kind of had like a hodgepodge of a bunch of different things on my eyes. But one thing that I feel like really made my Christmas makeup fun, and if you want to see what my makeup looked like, um, check out my Instagram because I have a picture there. But one thing that I think made it like very fun and Christmassy was this trio from um, Prestige. This is the Total Intensity Totally Matte Eyeshadow Trio, and this is an offbeat. So I wore this reddish color in my crease. It's kind of like a reddish raspberry sort of a color. So I wore it in my crease, and I have just the tiniest little bit of the orange in my crease today. So the purple is okay. It's not that great, but I mean, it's not horrible. But the winners for me in this trio are definitely the red and the orange. I really, really like those. But putting this in my crease just made this kind of like, I don't know, reddish Christmassy kind of a crease, you know? It was just kind of fun. See this one like, yeah, but I feel like purples a lot of times kind of struggle. Like purples just kind of, they have a hard time. So anyway, that one kind of has a little bit of a hard time, but these two are really, really nice. Like they're pretty, they're pigmented, they blend well. And I feel like they're just like unique sort of colors to find in the drugstore. So very, very cool. I really liked that. So it's kind of like a, like a pinky red, you know what I mean? But it looked pretty much red on my eyes. I wore two of my trusted L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. I wore Ice Latte and I have this on my eyelid today and then I wore Golden Emerald. I wore it on my lower lash line on Christmas and I have it on my lower lash line today. And I think I forgot mascara on my lower lash line today. Just realized that. So I don't have any lower lash line mascara on but I do have that eyeshadow. So first off, you guys have probably heard a lot about Ice Latte. Like this one gets a lot of attention in the L'Oreal Infallible line, and it should. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's gorgeous. It's like a champagne-y, champagne -y. yeah, sort of a color. It's champagne -y. and it's amazing. It works as a highlighter. It works on the lid. It's bright. It's amazing. I'm trying to remember, I used this kind of as a base underneath I was trying to remember how I used this. I knew I used it um, on Christmas. I used it underneath something else I'm about to mention to you. But this is one of my go-tos, like just in the whole infallible line in general as an eyeshadow. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, bright sort of a shadow. Love that one. And then Golden Emerald, if you're looking for a great green, this is a great green in general. Like. Not even just talking about only drugstore, just in general. This is a beautiful green. It is so metallic and bright and pigmented and intense. It's so pretty. It's pretty on the lid. It's pretty on the lower lash line. It's amazing. Now I did wear it over a liner to just kind of give it something to stick to for the lower lash line. So I would say do that, but I, I do that in general pretty much for every shadow i think that just some kind of a sticky something underneath your eyes just to give it something to adhere to i think that really helps with like the smudging or the moving or anything like that so i did wear it with a liner but look at that that is so gorgeous and even when it blends out it has this gorgeous dimension so i mean you could just do like a one shadow green smoky eye look with that and it would be amazing. So loved those. And of course I had to throw a little bit of glitter into the situation because it was Christmas and I love wearing glitter on holidays. So I wore these two. These are both from Eye Candy Cosmetics. I love their glitters. They're like my go-to glitters. Um, I have Winter Wonderland, which is kind of like a silvery white sort of color. And then Jingle Bells. I believe that these are both um, their holiday colors. Let me see if there's any way I can show this to you without getting it everywhere. Okay, so there is Winter Wonderland. Beautiful. And I use their um, liquid sugar to 
apply these and it really does help keep it in place. This one is amazing. This is uh, Jingle Bells is amazing. I don't know why I look back there. That, that don't even have the name on it. So I'm like, hmm, what was his name? No, it's not back there. I just remembered it's Jingle Bells. So yeah, Jingle Bells is this beautiful kind of champagne-y, pinky sort of color. It's gorgeous. It has like, I mean, all different colors in here. The main base of it is kind of like beigey champagne, but then it's got like green, copper, purple, light blue, it's just gold, I mean, all different things, beautiful. So they're both gorgeous individually, but they're beautiful together too, so loved these. Still been playing with the goodies from the Sweet Peach Collection. So this week the product that I really kind of like fell more in love with is the Sweet Peach Glow. And what really kind of surprised me in this palette that I really enjoyed this week was the bronzer. Because in my collection video where I kind of go over all the products, I was saying, I wasn't sure how it was really gonna like work this bronzer because it's very light and it's very warm tone. Now today I totally forgot and went about my normal routine and grabbed a regular other bronzer. So I'm wearing this over a regular bronzer today, but I wore it by itself one day this week and I really liked it. Like it just was a very light, easy, airy look, um, at least on my skin tone, it just looked very light and natural and almost like a easy everyday summertime makeup look like that kind of warm tone to it looked kind of very summertime and easy breezy to me but I really liked it I don't know why I'm like <laughs> this showing you these but here they are um the highlighter is beautiful it's just a light kind of beigey champagne peachy sort of a highlight so really enjoyed that. I do have that on today. I don't have the blush on today. I'm wearing another blush I'm about to mention to you, but I did wear it. I did wear it. I did wear it this week. Nope. I did wear it this week and enjoyed it, but I'm not wearing it today. So, but that was really kind of the shocker for me. Like even looking at it in a swatch, I'm going, I don't know how that would work, but the day I wore it, I really liked it. And I used it just like my other bronzers. Like I just put it a little bit kind of in the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead and I really liked it. This is a blush that I really have not given a lot of love to pretty much since I've owned it, but I loved it this week. Like it made me think, why have I been forgetting about you? You're so good. This is Benefit's Sugar Balm. And I remember when I first got this blush, this was years ago. So I don't think that I really appreciated neutrals in makeup quite as much back then, but now I really do. And I guess I just, I don't know, I've been forgetting about this blush, but it is a beautiful everyday, it's not even gonna look that impressive in a swatch, but it's gorgeous on the cheeks, everyday light peachy, sort of a blush color. This really could like go with the Sweet Peach collection because it kind of has that same feel to it. Sort of like Papa Don't Peach, but I think a little bit lighter and this is a blush that's hard to mess up because you do have to build it up, but I mean, it just looks beautiful. And it's one of those blushes that really does go with like a dramatic eye look because it's not overpowering. Also kind of reminds me of Wet n Wild's Rose Champagne. Just an easy, no brainer sort of a blush. I really like, loved this. And I feel bad because I haven't, I haven't shown you love and you deserve it because you're a very nice blush. I don't always talk to my makeup, by the way. Just when I'm chatting with you, I tend to talk to my makeup. Who knows? Okay, on to lips. And of course I have some red lip favorites because it was Christmas. First off is my Milani lipstick in Matte Kiss. Oh my goodness, this is just perfect. Like if you are looking for a great matte red lipstick that's classic, that's not gonna fail you, here it is. I mean, when I think about my favorite red lip products, they are matte traditional lipsticks. They're not liquid lipsticks, they're not glosses, they're not lip lacquers, they're not glossy, they are matte lipsticks because I feel like they're the most low maintenance. Like, they go on, they feel comfortable, they don't move if you're just talking and maybe drinking something. They might move a little bit, it might transfer a little bit, um, but then when you eat, it doesn't do the weird 
lip catastrophe situation where you just look so goofy from a liquid lipstick wearing off uneven. It's not that. It's like I usually just blot it. Like right before I eat, I just blot and like take off any excess and then I eat. And then you're left with like a little bit of a stain and just like a general fading of the product. So I feel like just as far as red lips go, a matte lipstick is the, the most low maintenance for me. That's what I grab for. And this one is a beautiful classic red. It's just gorgeous. It's right in the middle. Not super warm tone, not super cool tone, just a classic red lipstick. That's amazing. And then a far more high maintenance lip combo, but that I absolutely loved are these two products right here. First is the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylip, Acrylip, I don't know, in 942. So I got this at, I think, Makeup Show. I think they might have changed the applicators on these, I'm not really sure, but I feel like the new colors that came out have a different applicator maybe, I don't know. But anyway, this is glossy and it's a very kind of raspberry sort of a color, but it's really, really pretty. I drew it on twice because I'm about to show you what this looks like by itself and on top of this. So this one is the Camp Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Lady Pimp. And it is a beautiful red with like micro shimmer in it. It's really pretty by itself too. So is the other one. But I feel like together they just make the glossiest, prettiest red lip. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. And it was kind of like a super girly pinky red. Let me show you. Because in the swatches, they're looking very raspberry. But I feel like on my lips, they looked a little bit more red. So there they are together. There's the Camp Cosmetics gloss by itself, and there is the Acrylip, Acryl, Acrylip, whatever that is. There it is. <laughs> really, really gorgeous. They were just fun. Now these moved for sure. I wore them with a lip liner, so that helped, but I mean, through a meal, there was no way. I pretty much blotted it all off before I ate with this combo. But for a few minutes, for some picture taking, it was really pretty. I did have to check my teeth, so. You got that factor too. But I mean, just look at it. It's so pretty. You know, sometimes you just put in the extra work for the gorgeous glossy red lip combo. Pinky red lip combo. And then last favorite for the week is one of the new Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Rebel Rose. And this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I love the packaging on these. It's really nice and weighty. And the um, little like applicator on it is a doe foot. It's one of those like squishy ones like Dose of Colors has. And these have like a little like clicky noise when you close them. So I just feel like the packaging is so nice for $4.99. Now these are more of your traditional liquid lipsticks. Like that's what they feel like to me where they do the line thing. They do feel, um, I wouldn't say that they feel overly drying, but they, they sort of feel like nothing on the lips to a little bit dry but not that bad, especially for $4.99. But the main thing that I noticed with them is the line and that they do the there versus not there thing. But if you like liquid lipsticks, I think you will love these because for $4.99, these are very comparable with a lot of high, um, high end or prestige cosmetics um, brands, like kind of reminds me of the Dose of Colors ones or Kat Von D or ones like that. So. If you are a liquid lipstick person, I bet you will really like these. And as far as like why I liked this one more, I'm still gonna use these. I still do like them and I'm gonna continue to use them. But this one in particular, I really like because it's super close to my lip color. So you don't notice the line as much. I hate that line thing. Like that's really what, I, I don't know how, like let me know how you deal with the line with a liquid lipstick. That, that major line that is so obvious. What do you do about that? So with this one, I don't notice the line like pretty much at all. So I really, really enjoyed this particular one. But again, if you like liquid lipsticks, I would say definitely check these out because they're very, very comparable and a great price point. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans, your New Year's plans. Happy New Year to you all. I love you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.